So this is all part of our restocking programme for next year. When we come to live here in December. Only a few baby ones that are too small to eat. I'm putting them in now. Just hold one up to. So these are called Benin, which are the baby tilapia. Coming uh, perch. And that's a, just put them on the side. That's a Bamor, which is a, a climbing perch. Very, very spiky. Don't grow very big those, but very tasty. So this is our second stock pond. A bit bigger than the other one. We had this made a few years ago. There's a bit of a story about it. That involves some people that weren't very nice to us. But uh, we stocked it with quite a few fish and a lot of wild fish as well. And we fed them. We didn't spend any money on the feed. We just uh, put all the chicken, uh, all the food waste in here every couple of days. Uh, we had a lot of catfish, a lot of paku, which are like a giant piranha. Uh, there must have been about 20 different species in here, up to about seven or eight pound. Uh, and then in the dry season, like it is now, the water started to drop. We put a fence round here. We knew a few people had been fishing in here before, but nothing too bad. And then someone decided to come and net the thing. So we lost absolutely loads and loads of fish, probably two or three hundred pounds of fish. So uh, I was in the UK at the time. Two had to come down here, have the rest of the water sucked out and saved what fish we could and they're now in the back pond at the back of the house growing very very big but uh, we probably saved about two or three percent of what was in here it's a very very shameful shame uh, very angry as well very upsetting and we know at least two people that were actually been in here fishing but Unless you catch them, there's not a lot you can do about it. And for those that aren't fluent in Thai, that all means... Keep away from here. That it. <laughs> so this is our second stock pond. Uh, the security is a bit more beefed up. So we've got the chicken wire here and then the barbed wire over the top. But if people want to get in, they can still get in here. So it's a lot smaller this pond. There's a lot of hyacinth. There's a lot of morning glory. We call it pak bung, which you can eat. It's in the middle of the dry season, so normally the water's all the way up here. And then during the monsoon season, it has been known to go over the top here. So the chicken wire will stop the big fish getting out, and then we'll put some netting on it as well. Lovely big mango tree here. And another one there. Coconut trees everywhere. Toon's dad actually planted these quite a long time ago. You can't actually see at the moment, but what's actually happening is it's, uh, like I said, it's at the middle of the dry season, or coming to the end of the dry season, so a lot of the fish are making babies. And a lot of them are right up the top, so they're either just about to spawn some of them, or they've already spawned, and then they're taking care of the kids, because there's a lot of snakehead in here, and they love to eat baby fish. Not long now, gonna come to live here. Yeah. First of December is my last day's work in the UK. The rest of it, all living here, in the middle of nowhere. Not everyone's cup of tea, but absolutely perfect for me and Toon.